Hey, it's Shane from GotRom.com. In this video, I'm going to show you five quick fixes for a tight, low back. Stay tuned. So there's a lot of stretches and exercises that you can use to help a tight, low back, but not all exercises are created equal. So I want to show you some new exercises that you've maybe never seen or tried before and some tools that may be a little bit different and new for you but i'm showing you because i think these are the most effective best exercises for low back pain in my 45 day athletes back program i also show much simpler versions that you can do with no tools but if you want the most effective and deep exercises for low back pain some specialty tools are nice to have so in my opinion, the most effective exercise for working on low back pain and making it go away instantly is working on your QL, your low back muscle with the body back buddy tool. And specifically, you're gonna use this rounded end and you're gonna hook it into your low back in your, the side of your QL muscle. So it looks like this. I'm gonna lay on my back and I'm going to hook this into the side of my back. If, if you could see the angle of pressure, it would be pressing into the side of my QL muscle. There's this strap-like muscle that goes from the pelvis to the ribs. And I'm not pressing from the back through me this way. I'm pressing into the side of the QL in this kind of direction. So I'm laying on my back. I kind of slightly swivel my hips to the side, hook this into the side of my back, Usually it takes a little bit of kind of finagling and moving around and readjusting your position until you get just the right angle and pressure. I'm slightly arching my back just a little bit and then I settle into it. And then when I feel like I have it and I stop, breathe and relax, feel it sink in a little bit, readjust. I like to grab this end with my hand so that I can pull out in this direction, which makes it the hook hook into my QL a little bit more. So I'm finding just the right angle, breathing and relaxing. One way of souping this up and making it even better is to hook up a thin band to this end. And what that does is it allows me to huh, relax a little bit deeper and the band is doing the pulling and the more relaxed I can be, the more my back unclenches and the more that this trigger point style massage can do its magic. So that's the body back buddy with and without the band exercise. When you're done, very slowly come out, breathing deeply, set your tool aside and check in with your back. Maybe do a little movement, a little wiggles. And usually if you did effective targeted tissue work, you're going to feel like, oh, a lot of relief in my back. This exercise is a little bit advanced, but I wanna show you the most effective exercises for quickly releasing your low back pain. The next exercise we're going to do is we're going to work on your psoas muscle. So the psoas attaches deep in the spine kind of abdominal cavity area. It attaches to your spine, runs down the side of the spine and attaches to your femur. The only way to kind of influence it or get at it a little bit is kind of through the stomach. So I like to use a four core fireball or it could be a softball, something you can get cheaply on Amazon, but a larger diameter ball. One of the mistakes people make when doing this is they use a small ball, like a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, and that's just not gonna work. You need something larger diameter. How you're gonna do it, you're going to lay on your stomach, put it anywhere in your stomach region, below the ribs and above the pelvis, lateral of your belly button, and you're just going to kind of sigh and sink like this, and let it sink in. Then you chase the tension, search for the area with a tighter band of tension. Breathe and relax sink in. I also like to come down and put my forehead on my forearms like this. Breathing and relaxing. The key to this exercise is full exhales. If you never fully exhale all of your air, 
then it will never sink in enough to really make a difference. So full exhales. And I can also put a little bit of tension in that system by raising my back foot after I exhale. So I exhale and I raise my back foot, which tensions all of that fascia underneath there. And then I keep breathing and relaxing. The only things you need to be mindful of in this position is if you feel like as your eyes are closed and you're being mindful and you're relaxed and you're doing this exercise, if you feel like you're on the pulse, you feel like some blood pulsing underneath this, it's not a problem. Don't freak out. It just means you need to slightly adjust your position, move, get a different angle and see if it gets rid of that pulsing sensation. Another option, if you want something even more precise, even more like human hands, is this tool called the body wedge. And this is one of my favorite psoas abdominal myofascial release tools because the texture is really nice. It's like a soft foam. So it feels a lot like the human hand, but it's a little bit more precise than the big blunt ball. So with this one, you put it in that same position in the stomach region. And you might need to kind of lift up and down a couple times until you find the right spot and then get on your hands and elbows. Breathe. Full exhales. The nice thing about the rounded bottom is I can change the angle because it kind of rocks side to side. I can do the same thing where I rest my forehead on my forearms. If it ever feels too intense or I feel that uh, pulsing of the blood, I can just quickly and instantly get off it, no problem. But if you'll do the fireball or a softball or this body wedge tool on your psoas for a couple of minutes, I think you'll find that your back pain feels a lot better. The next exercise to quickly give you a little bit of low back pain relief is hip flexor stretch variations. So the easiest place to start is just coming into a kneeling position, starting nice and tall, getting your glute engaged, your core engaged, and then sinking forward just a little bit until you feel a nice stretch in the hip flexor. What you don't want to do is just go as deep as you possibly can into the pose and arch your low back because then you're not really stretching your hip, flex hip flexor as much as you're arching and compressing and crunching your low back. So keep that core and glute on. Another variation is to come up into an active position where you're now up on your back big toe, your back knee is off the ground, your hands are on your thigh, you're crunching, you're engaging your glute, and then you're sinking into the hip flexor stretch. Another version or variation is to rest your elbow here and reach, that kind of stretches this whole fascial line. So you're kind of reaching up and over, or you can have your hands here, whatever's more comfortable for you or here, as long as you know that your target is this hip flexor area. The next exercise that can quickly help your low back pain is a basic quad stretch. So the easiest place to do it is to put something soft underneath your knee. For example, a yoga mat, something soft underneath your knee, and then having something in front of you to hold on to for support and stability and then reach back and grab your own foot, square up to the front, and then pull your heel towards your butt, and then let the hip come forward. You can try different positions. There's no wrong way. You just want to feel a nice muscular quad stretch right here in the middle of your quad. If you feel it too high or too low down by the knee, that's not ideal. You wanna feel it kind of uniformly across the whole entire length of your quad. If you want another version, you also can take a band. This is for maybe my less flexible people. And you can hook the band around your foot, around your shoelace area, hook it up and over your shoulder, reach out for your support. And then now you don't have to have the flexibility to reach back here and grab your foot. It's just done for you. So you can stay here, breathing and relaxing, holding something in front of you if you need support, getting that mid muscle belly quad stretch. You can even come forward more, more upright, doesn't really matter. 
but if you will stretch out your quads and your hip flexors, you'll probably find that your low back pain immediately afterward feels much, much better. So after you've stretched out your hips or worked on your back or your psoas to give you some instantaneous back pain relief, one nice thing to do is gentle lumbar traction. So this could look a lot of different ways. The easiest place to start is child's pose where you're just knees apart, toes together, and just coming down into this position. My back is gently rounding, very gently, and then I just breathe and relax. That very gentle traction can just make the back feel a little bit more comfortable. If you wanna take it to the next level, you could get into a squatting position and holding something in front of you. Even if you have to be up on your toes a little bit in the beginning, if your hips aren't so flexible, it's fine because what we're looking for is gentle lumbar traction or a little bit of low back roundedness. So find a position, you could even put something under your heels if you needed to. But if you do have the hip flexibility, sink into a flat footed squat. Just being here, breathing and relaxing, trying to breathe into your low back for 30 seconds to say a minute. And then when you stand up or move, you'll probably find that your back feels more open and feels better. The last exercise for gentle lumbar traction is something you'll see a lot in yoga. It's the forward fold. So you're gonna come to a standing position where your feet are maybe two fists distance apart just underneath you. And if you're really inflexible, you could have some kind of elevated surface here for support. If you're more flexible, you can come down to your fingertips and eventually down to flat hands. You can also have bent knees if you need or straighter legs. The goal is to stretch the hamstrings, but also get a little bit of gentle lumbar low back roundingness. Just a tad, not much. You don't want to stretch the crap out of your low back. You want gentle traction. So hang out here, breathing into your low back, pedaling your legs, doing what feels comfortable, coming up, coming down. Remember, we're not going for a huge low back stretch. We're going for gentle traction. You also can hang like a rag doll, grabbing your elbows, breathing and relaxing. So that's the third exercise for gentle lumbar traction. And if you do all of those exercises, you'll probably find that you get pretty instant low back pain relief, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So I hope that video was helpful. If you need a 45 day program to help your low back, go to gotrom.com where I have my athletes back program. And I will see you in the next video.